Hey everyone, this is a review of the Jackery Explorer 1000 power station along with the Solar Saga 100 watt solar panels. So I'm gonna walk you through how this thing works, what I think about it, and how it performs. So this 1000 watt hour battery bank has a ton of options for outputting that power. Uh, you've got three AC ports. These are pure sine waves, so they're not a modified sine wave that has dirty components in it that could damage electronics. These are safe to use with anything that you normally plug into the wall that requires less than 1000 watts. You've also got DC output components. You've got USB-C, you've got two ports of those, a 5 volt 2.4 amp USB-A, and a quick charge 3.0 USB-A port. You've also got a regular car adapter uh, for a 12 volt output too. For efficiency's sake, you can turn these on and off separately so you're not wasting any uh, power on the inverter. This only uses about two watts when you turn it on and it's idle, but it's nice to be able to turn that off and not have it wasting that power if you don't want it doing that. So this kit comes with a few different accessories. You've got your Y cable for connecting two solar panels to it. You've got a 12 volt charger that you can plug in and charge the Explorer 1000 while you're driving somewhere. So it's using your car's alternator to do that. Uh, and then you've got a 120 volt wall plug-in option to charge it as well. On your input for the charging, you can put a single one of Jackery's solar panels in here, or you can use an adapter and put up to two solar panels combined charging in this port. The display on this is really nice. You can turn the display on by hitting this button right here, uh, and it's got a backlight so you can see it in the dark. It will give you percentage of battery you have left. Your charging rate right here. Obviously I don't have it connected, so it's not charging. And then you've got your output right here. One nice little convenient thing is they've got a small flashlight on the side of this. So if you're getting things set up at camp or something, or if you've got a power outage, you can turn this on to see until you get a better lighting solution available. I tested a few things with this. I ran a thousand watt blender on it. And you can see that the wattage output on the Jackery didn't get up to a thousand watts, but it ran that blender no problem while it crushed ice. I also used a pole saw with this that is an eight and a half amp pole saw, which comes out to 1,020 watts uh, of power. I cut through several branches with it and it did fine. I didn't trip the Jackery Explorer 1000 at all. Uh, I was really impressed with its performance there. As far as these solar panels go, I think they're absolutely great. They've got magnets in here at the top that click them together and hold them. So I'm not really holding both sides right now. And you can pull it open fairly easily, but they, they, they got a good hold. Uh, they've got handles built into them. They're pretty rugged. They've got built-in kickstands on each side, and it's got a bungee so you don't have to deal with this cord. It just collapses right back up. Now the cables on these are built right in. You've got a pouch on one side that unzips, and you've got your power output cable. This will plug right into the Jackery. It's got an adapter if you've got a slightly different uh, something you want to charge that has a different barrel port on it. And then built right in here, you've got a USB-C port that is 5 volts at 3 amps and a USB-A port that is 5 volts at 2.4 amps. If you're using two of these to charge the Jackery Explorer, you can just take this, plug it right into this Y cable and plug the other one in there. And then you use this port to charge the power bank. To set these up, it's super simple. You just unfold them. Grab the kickstand on both sides and pull out. And you're pretty much done. So Jackery lists these solar panels as IP54 rated, which usually means splashing water resistant, uh, but they do say don't leave them out in the rain. So that's kind of contradictory, um, but I think the, the way I'm going to interpret that guidance is I won't leave these out in the rain on purpose. If it starts raining and they get a few drops on them, it'll probably be okay. So let's talk charge times for this thing. Uh, for the wall outlet, this charges at roughly 160 watts. Uh, so that's six and a half, seven hours you get for zero to full for this. As far as these solar panels go, their efficiency is fantastic. They are 100 watt panels. I was getting 109 watts out of one of mine by itself. Uh, that's in full sunlight, and I was getting around 89 to 90 watts out of the other ones. So these are fantastic. I think they definitely get their rated wattage, which isn't true for all solar panels out there. Now, the one thing that disappointed me a little bit with these is the max charge rate you can do with these panels is 125 watts into the Explorer 1000. So even if you plug the second one in, you only get another 30 watts of benefit out of it 
uh, instead of getting a full 200 watts input into this. So it takes about eight hours to charge with these, which isn't too bad for solar panels. Uh, and these are monocrystalline panels. Those are the most efficient type on the market right now. So you're not gonna get a more compact package that can output any more wattage than these. Now I do see why Jackery bundled this with the two 100 watt panels uh, instead of two 60 watt panels, because even though you can only charge at 125 watts for this, if you don't have full sunlight, uh, you need a more efficient panel that is capable of higher peak power output to reach that 120 watts. So even if you've got some cloudy overcast skies, uh, with both of these, I was still getting around 115 to 120 watts input to this, and you wouldn't see that with a smaller uh, panel like a 60 watt panel. So while I am disappointed you can't take the full advantage of the 200 watt output of these, I am glad they do charge it in eight hours and you've got a little bit extra capacity for when you've got a cloudy day. If you wanna estimate runtime that you're gonna get off of this with a certain appliance or electrical device, just look at the data plate on that device and it should tell you the maximum wattage that device uses. Then you just divide 1,000 watt hours by your wattage on that device and you get the time in hours that this will supply power. And using that data plate is also a way to get a good idea of if it can be run by this at all in the first place, because if it's over a thousand watts on that data plate, it's probably not gonna work. So for example, I've got this space heater, it's 1500 watts AC at uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Now this has a high and a low, and it'll use half of that 1500, so you're at 750 output on this um, if you've got it on low heat. So it can run this on low, it can't run it on high. All right, and since it's on half power, we're topping her out around 790 watts. All right, let's take it up to full power and see what happens to the Jackery. It should cut out. So it's actually doing more than 1,000 watts, but it'll probably shut off pretty soon here because we're up at 1,300, 1,400 watts. And it's really not rated for that much, so I'm impressed that it's being able to do this, but it's probably going to cut out after a little bit due to that high overload. And we're at 1500 and it cut out. So this is really rated for a continuous output of 1000 watts. Uh, and we hit 1500 temporarily and it shut down and said, I'm, I'm over my limit and I'm not gonna supply any more power. It just turned the AC off and we can turn it right back on afterwards. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I'm really happy that it will do over a thousand watts very temporarily. So I'm glad that you don't have to worry about spikes on startup. Uh, for most equipment, you should be able to handle anything that's really rated for a thousand watts. So whether you're using it for camping, emergency preparedness, or, or some other use, I think this thing is a great buy. It's got great performance and I'm really happy with it.